I'm Joe. Today on Next Level Bullshit, we take a look at another viewer request. Chris wrote to us with an interesting request. Joe, I suffer from fibromyalgia. There are tons of EMF devices for your home, car, and body. Here is a website, earthcom.com. This is only one out of hundreds out there. Are these EMF devices just another bullshit hype to steal our hard-earned money? Chris, sorry to hear about the fibromyalgia. Now, for our viewers out there, this is what fibromyalgia is. It is a disorder characterized by a widespread musculoskeletal pain accompanied by fatigue, sleep, memory, and mood issues. Researchers believe that fibromyalgia amplifies pain sensations by affecting the way your brain processes pain signals. Now back to the question. Yes, Chris, Gene Gallick, inventor and owner of EarthCom, appears to be selling bullshit. Gene claims, we're bombarded daily with cell phone radiation, smart meter radiation, and Wi-Fi radiation. We're also in danger of cell tower health risks and susceptible to power line health risks. Gene has developed a product that grounds you to the Earth's electromagnetic field, causing the dissipation of stress-producing currents coming from man-made electromagnetic fields. So you need the home EMF protection system. For $350, this little guy plugs into any wall socket protecting you from EMF signals. Or the Nova Resonator for $200, the most powerful personal EMF protection available. They also have sports and fashion flavors. Now here's a pro tip. The only scientifically proven method to block electromagnetic fields or EMF is to sit in a Faraday cage. But I digress, let's move into the bullshit. Gene and others in the EMF sensitivity business even attempts to link fibromyalgia to hypersensitivity of electromagnetic currents. Here's something that'll blow your mind away, Chris. Sufferers of fibromyalgia actually see benefits from pulsing electromagnetic waves into specific regions of the brain. Yeah, that's right. The very electromagnetic waves that supposedly cause fibromyalgia actually relieves the symptoms. Proven in this 2001 study, the treatment of fibromyalgia with cranial electrotherapy stimulation. It concluded that cranial electrotherapy is effective in several trials with no negative side effects and deserves further consideration as an additional agent for the treatment of fibromyalgia. It's not shock treatment, it's just a gentle current passed through the earlobes. They also found that fibromyalgia patients using CES has been shown to experience a 28% reduction in tenderness a 27% reduction in pain intensity, and a 55% improvement in the quality of their sleep. There's also this study, low frequency pulsed electromagnetic field therapy in fibromyalgia, randomized, double blind, sham controlled clinical study, which also concluded therapy might improve function, pain, fatigue, and global status in fibromyalgia patients. All right, so does any of EarthCom's claims about EMF radiation have any grounding in reality? Kinda, but only if you work really, really hard at stretching the truth into the zone of lies. The CDC, Cancer.gov, and the World Health Organization, and a shit ton of others, have concluded that currently, evidence does not confirm the existence of any health consequences from exposure to low-level electromagnetic fields. They do admit further testing could be done, but at the moment, after some 25,000 articles published over the last 30 years, they're pretty confident in their findings. I did pull a couple studies for this video, like this one. Occupational exposure to magnetic fields and breast cancer among women textile workers in Shanghai, China. The findings do not support the hypothesis that magnetic field exposure increases the risk of breast cancer. Or this one occupational exposure to electromagnetic fields and acute leukemia, analysis of a case control study. This large population-based case control study found little evidence to support an association between occupational exposure to electromagnetic fields and acute leukemia. But what about cell phones or that dreaded Wi-Fi radiation? I mean, that shit is fucking everywhere. 
while well, the non-ionizing electromagnetic radiation has not been shown to increase cancer risk or DNA damage. This even goes for smart meters that give off RF radiation, a low energy radiation that is also non-ionizing radiation. All right, well what is ionizing versus non-ionizing electromagnetic waves? And I'll tell you, and you knew I would. Ionizing radiation is the nasty stuff at the extreme upper end of this spectrum, like X-rays and gamma rays. Non-ionizing includes radio frequencies, from FM radio to microwaves, including your Wi-Fi and cell phones. It has barely enough energy to move atoms in a molecule around, or to cause them to vibrate. Ionizing waves can lead to serious tissue damage and DNA damage from prolonged exposure, and ultimately cancer. Non-ionizing waves have no effect unless you do something stupid with the higher end of the non-ionizing spectrum, like getting severely sunburned, or hack your microwave oven so it works with the door open. Now, there are some people in the EMF sensitivity business that say RF radiation or electromagnetic fields are labeled as a carcinogen by the EPA. That is such a gross deception as to be an outright lie. The truth is, the EPA labeled radiofrequency radiation as a class three carcinogenic. Defined by the World Health Organization as not classifiable as to its carcinogenicity to humans, which means there are no studies to support that it causes cancer in people. Other popular class three carcinogens are caffeine, fluorescent lighting, and nylon. So when they say RF radiation is simply a carcinogen without specifying class three, they're being purposely deceptive in order to scare you. So what is really going on? It's all in your stupid melon. The ability of your brain to convince itself of just about anything is nothing to underestimate. If you honestly believe you're electrosensitive, guess what? You're gonna get sick when you use a cell phone, sit next to a Wi-Fi router, or turn on an appliance. On the flip side, if you become convinced that the multivitamins, acupuncture, and that shiny new $200 Nova Resonator really works, then you're cured. Amazing. So yeah, the whole EMF sensitivity madness is extreme bullshit, and the remedies are all based on junk science. And there it is, episode 34. I want to thank all our viewers and commenters for continuing to be awesome. Our encryption killer episode got some really nice feedback. Michael Lloyd said, if we cave into this shit like this, don't the terrorists win at some level? Yeah, they do. Steven Riles thought it was a great episode and said, but I really like that nugget of information at the end. Hell yeah, we lost our moral compass. And Liberty Prime B1 said, fucking subscribed and fucking donating. Fuck yeah, dude. Now, what is today's swear total? Seven today. Cool. Every time it reaches $100, I'm gonna donate it to charity. Since the first time my granddad died of Alzheimer's, it's going to the Alzheimer's Foundation of America. Now, if you find a story that is bullshit worthy that we can use, use hashtag NLBS when you post to any social media site. And if you're really motivated, make a video. If we like it, we'll use it. You can also email me anytime at joe at nextlevelbullshit.com. And don't forget to go to thenlbs.spreadshirt.com to get shirts and other Next Level Bullshit swag. And we'll see you next time with more Next Level Bullshit. In the meantime, follow us on Twitter, subscribe on YouTube, and watch all our shows on nextlevelbullshit.com. And now, if you're a mobile app developer, I think this will make you chuckle. BlackBerry CEO John Chen thinks you should be forced to develop apps for their platform. What's that I smell? Hmm, the death of Blackberry.